Swift Foes, Mali here. Welcome to my Swift iOS development series where I will guide you to an exciting world of app development using the Swift programming language. This series covers everything from the basics to advanced concepts with plenty of real world examples and exercises. We are also going to build an exciting application along the way. Ready to kickstart your Swift journey? Let's dive in. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our tutorials. Any questions? Drop them in the comment section. First, let's download Xcode. Xcode is an integrated development environment for macOS that contains a suite of software development tools developed by Apple for creating software for macOS, iOS, watchOS, and tvOS. In simpler terms, it's like a toolbox for building apps that run on Apple devices. In order for us to download Xcode, first let's go to the App Store. And we we'll, let's type S code and hit enter. Since I already have S code installed, I'll go ahead and open it. So this is our S code. All right, now that we have S code installed, let's dive into some fundamentals. I'm really excited. Okay. For every language, we need to get accustomed to the vocabulary, the verbs. So uh, for Swift, in order for us to be successful in our Swift journey, we need to learn some vocabulary. So that's what I'm going to walk you guys through. So let's start with variable. All right. So let's imagine you are playing a game of hide and seek with your friends and you need a way to keep track of how many people you have found so far. In this case, you could use a little imaginary bucket to hold that number. So let's say this is our imaginary bucket. At the beginning of the game, you might set this bucket to zero because you, you haven't found any anyone yet. So let's say zero because we haven't found anywhere yet, the bucket is still empty. As you find each friend, you could add one to the number in the bucket. So maybe we find one friend, so we'll assign it one. This is because what variable is in Swift. It's like a bucket that holds a piece of information for us. It could hold a number like our game or a word like name or many other things. You can give this bucket any name you want. For example, in our game, you might want to call the, the bucket, we want to call this, let's say, we might like to call this. So we might want to call this found friends. When you start, you could say found friends equals to zero. Or in Swift, you want to write or in Swift, you want to write val found friend equals to zero. So var simply means variable found friends equals to zero. Each time you find a friend, you will like add to found friends. And the cool thing is you can change what's in the bucket anytime you want. That's why it's called variable because the information it holds can vary or change for example as you find more and more friends the number in the found friends bucket gets bigger and bigger so folks that's all about uh, variables and uh, let's move to the next vocabulary which is string our next vocabulary is string so remember when you made a necklace or a bracelet with letters or words on it those little blocks with letters you put on a string to spell out your name or friend's name? Well, in Swift, a string is a lot like that. Just like you can put different letters on your string to make different words or sentences. In coding, a string is a type of variable that holds a sequence of characters like letters, numbers, or symbols to create words, sentences, or even a whole paragraph. Let's say you want to write a note to your friend named Tom. In Swift, you could create a string variable to hold that name like this.
here my best friend is our variable like our imaginary bank bracket remember and we have put the name Tom into it the name is our string just like we have put the letters T O and M onto a string to make a bracelet string can hold more than just one word for example you could say now my note is a string that holds a wall sentence so to wrap it up a string in swift is a series of characters like letters numbers or simple put together it's just like making a necklace or a bracelet with a string but this time we are using code to make words sentence or even longer text our next vocabulary is constant Imagine you have a favorite car that is super special to you. It's so special that you you have decided never to change it. No, not its color, not its shape, nothing. It remains exactly as it is now forever. In Swift programming, a constant is something a bit like that favorite car. It's a sort of a, a bucket, just like a variable. But once you've put something in it, you can't change it. It stays the same forever, just like a special car let's say your favorite car is named tesla in swift you might create a constant for tesla like here my favorite car is a constant and we have put the same tesla we have put the name tesla in it because my favorite car is a constant which we declare in Swift using the keyword let. You can change it once you have said my favorite car is Tesla. It will always be Tesla. It can be BMW or Ferrari. So a constant in Swift is a special kind of a bucket that holds a value that never changes. It's it's a way of saying this thing here is really important and I don't want to ever change it just like your special car Tesla our last vocabulary will be double or float have you ever gone to a candy store and seen how the candies are measured sometimes you can get a whole numbers like one two three candies but sometimes you want to get half a candy or maybe 1.5 candies or even 2.75 candies in Swift when we want to work with numbers that are in whole numbers, we use something called double or float. These are special types of variable that can hold numbers with decimal point. So what's the difference between them? Well, think about it like this. Imagine you are drawing a straight line. If you use a regular pencil, you can draw the line with some accuracy, right? That's like a float. It can hold a number with some accuracy up to six or seven digits after the decimal point. But what if you want to draw a super precise line with even more accuracy? For that, you might use a really sharp, high quality, quality mechanical pencil. That's what double is like. It can hold a number with a lot of precision up to 15 or 16 digits after the decimal point. Here's how we might want to write it in Swift. Remember, just like a float or a double can hold candies with with halves or quarters in the candy store. In Swift, these types can hold not just whole numbers but also with part. And double can be much more precise than float, like higher quality mechanical pencil compared on a regular one. This is pretty much some vocabulary and theories behind Swift. Now let's practice this in S code in the next video don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching